Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Today we are going to discuss what is function block exactly. So function block is nothing but a global instance type actually. So before starting theoretically we can directly understand why I doing a project uh, against it. So uh, you can see I have done a logic uh, for a pump uh, which is being getting started by, uh, by a start post button and getting stopped by stop post button and we have discussed about it in our previous videos also. Uh, which is in Hindi and this video is going to be in English. So in this video you can see for a single pump we have written a logic. To make another uh, pump let's say you are having 100 of pumps. So for every pump you have to write the logic again and again like copy and paste then again give some tag uh, different start stop logic for those. So this is bit uh, hectic right. So before to avoid this kind of uh, logic we are having a function block uh, block called function block so in function block let's give it a name called pump logic okay pump let's give the name pump and sorry pump function block let's say pump fb because we have already given a name called pump so it is not taking that name and language would be ladder only for now so you can see now if the function block has been created in this side in the solution project tree you can see the pump function block has been created so before going to pump function block we need to discuss what are the properties of that function block in properties what we can have by expand these two arrows now you can access the function blocks property like in input you can give the function block input name in output you can give the output of the function block and the all internal memory width can be stored in the static. So let's get uh, started with that function block. So before getting started, I just want to clear you something. Our timer is just like a function block, okay? So let's call a timer. What is happening, we can show you. So in timer, what is happening, we have to give an instance name or data block name for that timer that you are calling it a uh, function block, but you have to give a name for that function block every time. Because if you are using 100 of timer, then you have to put different name for that right so let's give it like as it is so in function this is a one kind of function block you can see what you are having some input ports are there and some output ports are there in input ports you are giving those inputs and in output ports you are giving those outputs likewise in our function block we are going to deal with same kind of example so in input uh, to uh, we are writing the function block for the pump right so let's give the inputs for the function block uh, like the first function blocks name is uh, function block input name is start uh, start command okay start command similarly we need a stop command and in output we need a pump on pump on output right so these are the input and outputs of the function block so by using those we can create a logic like we have uh, done in outside let's drag and drop into that function this one is start command for stop command this one is stop and for output we are giving a output called pump on okay and as our standard logic we are going to latch the pump until stop command is coming so we have given that one so this one is just start stop logic okay let's say we need to create a output after a timer if the pump is on after two to three seconds we need to hire an output then what we will do we are going to create a timer so in this timer you can say Previously while we are uh, calling a timer it was giving only one option but currently it is showing you three options like single instance, multi instance, parameter instance. I will give you the brief explanation about all of those three. So single instance means this timer can be called by only once like you are giving some time uh, name to this timer then it will store in this uh, system blocks okay in system blocks that uh, timer's name will store likewise we have called a timer here this IEC timer 0 db is being stored in system blocks okay IEC 0 db has been stored in the system block but what will happen 
this timer will uh, will call only single time right in only this ladder this timer will execute but in function block what we are do we are, we are going to do uh, we are going to call those timers multiple times like the function block will be called to another rung then that means another timer has to be create automatically for that while you are calling a timer let's say we are giving the timer's name pump on timer then you have to select multi instance not single instance because single instance will be done for all of the function block at a time so we don't want right uh, we don't want those kind of timer right if pump one is being called means only pump one timer should be called if pump two will be called then pump two timer should be called so that kind of logic we want it right if you are doing single instance means for all those pumps you will call a single timer only so your logic will be very wrong so for that you need to use multi instance timer so click on the multi instance timer but right now what will happen this timer is not storing in this block like in system block it is not storing that means your block is not a single instance currently uh, rather on this pump on timer no this is going to store on static actually means in the function block we called it the uh, these all are the called as local variables okay local tags you can say so in local tags input are start stop output is pump likewise the static or the internal memories are called uh, are being stored in the static so pump on timer see the pump on timer is being stored on the static variables so pump on timer is being stored now give the uh, pt value let's say i am giving it to t as tag 2 second and after that we are going to uh, means give another output called as uh, pump delay out or pump delay timer done so this is also we are going to define the tag in the static not local time see here this is saved as local time we are not going to save it is in the temporary file temporary file what is done the temporary is uh, file is only being stored by boolean type uh, boolean type if you are stored in the static that means you can change it but in te temporary file once, uh, once it will only scan in a single scan cycle of the plc so you are not going to store in local time you have to store in the local static tag so in local static see another tag is being created in the static variable so likewise uh, when you are going to use the tags in internal bit this is going to generate automatically in the static variables so now if you want a output against it then also you can turn on another output called as pump delay done op okay this is going to be output what is the difference between pump on delay timer done and pump on pump delay done op why i am giving this one i want this memory bit to be stored in the starting only then i can do like this if you want to make a output of those timer and you want to access outside of the function block now then you have to store it on the look uh, in the place of local tag you have to store in the out local out tag okay so now you can see in out the pump delay output is also being created so let's our, our a simple function block or function block logic is being created for the pump now we can call it in our main block so what is happening likewise we are calling the timer into the main block or ob block or uh, function similar we can call the function block like pump fb now you can drag and drop it here likewise while we are dragging and dropping the timer it was asking for a name right similar the function block will asking you name that which pump it is so let's say we are giving name it is function uh, pump one function block db okay so it is gets created so for start command what we will do same start push button we will give them okay by start it will start by stop it will stop and for pump on we will give a output called as m 110.0 let's say and its name would be pump one we are not going to use those pump delay done output i just want to declare some ta tag that's why i have given those 
let's otherwise let's give her another name m 100.1 pump delay done bit okay so we have written a logic for pump one so now we can see what is the beauty uh, beauty about that function block actually so if you want to write another uh, pump logic like you have a pump 2 and you want to uh, do the logic is same but you want uh, you no, no need to write this kind of logic again and again currently what we will do we will call the func uh, pump function block again okay for pump 2 but this time what we will give the name this one was the pump 1 fbdb and currently we are going to give the name as pump 2 fbdb means this logic uh, this function will, um, uh, this function block will act as pump 2 right now but th those two are completely different two different kind of function block why i am telling you for this function block this db is being created and for this function block this db is being created means both the uh, function block will work separately separately they are not interlocked with anyone so for start command we will give some other name let's say m100.2 sorry m100.3 and m100.4 and again m110.2 and m110.3 so you can see we can give two start stop command for two different pump let's say pump 1 is having some condition pump 2 is having some condition then you can do it separately so start let's say pump 2 start and pump 2 stop and this one is called as pump 2 op okay so now we are going to simulate sorry there is a timer so we have to delete those logic now it will download successfully see now if we are going to online and if will and if i will start the, uh, that push button then see what will happen I am getting modified those start so by clicking it is uh, the start command it is getting true and the pump one is getting true but for that this pump is not getting disturbed why because this function blocks db is pump one fbdb and this one this function blocks db is pump two fbdb like the timer we are doing like in our timer hundred of timer we are getting right by uh, turning on one timer the another timer is not getting disturbed likewise our function block is currently working so let's modify to 0 pump is still on and modify to 1 pump is on sorry by modify the stop to on the pump is getting stop okay so similarly if we will start the pump 2 then only pump 2 will start the pump 1 will be unharmed or the pump 1 will not true by turning up the pump will still on by turning on the stop command the pump will be off so the function block is totally working separately if you want to monitor the function block by going to online double click on the function block and then go to online here you can see the monitor values also let me show you by getting start the start pump is being on during that pump on command your this pump on is getting directly turn on so by turning off the start let's turn off this one and now let's give stop command so by stop command the pump is pump is turning off so if you want to what happens if you want to change the function block somebody will ask the question like your function block is being created if i will add another input then what will happen let's see 
what is happening okay so let's say on uh, star stop command is there i am going to input emergency stop command okay i have been add i have added another input value this is called as emergency stop command now this both of them are getting read currently because some of the properties being changed in the function block that's why this two is being read and those by those stop command also those emergency stop command also we want to turn up the pump so i have changed the logic so for now what we have to do come here right click on this function block and there is option called update block call just click on it it will ask you the question what is being changed in old one there is no emergency stop command but in new one the emergency stop command is there so right click again update block call both are being changed it's matter of two seconds of time right if you are having 100 of pump then you you no need to uh, add the stop command logic for in uh, every ladder you just need to change in the function block it will change automatically for all of the function block so this is it uh, this is it for today uh, we are going to do some more videos on function block and functions and in next video i will show you what is the difference between function block and functions so keep watching my channel thank you for watching till the end thank you